Hey, how are you going? I'm Dylan, and today I'm going to show you how to draw one of these fidget stars or fidget hexagons in Fusion 360. I've seen a lot of different ways of drawing it online, but I think the way I do it is a bit different, and I think it's a bit simpler. So let's give it a go. So I start with a new design. Firstly, we want to start with our sketch, and this is where you would pick the shape that you want to do. So to keep it simple today, let's just do a polygon. And the first measurement we want to decide is what is the maximum width of the fidget. So for me, I'm going to do 60 mil. And you can pick the number of sides. For now, we'll just leave it at six. Uh, next thing I do is I just constrain one of these sides to be vertical. It just makes it look a bit nicer when you're fiddling with the picture. And that's it. That's the, the basics of the sketch. Next thing we need to do is turn this into a pyramid type of shape. So to do that, We'll create a offset plane above the shape. And here you'll just need to use a little bit of maths. So to calculate the height of this, we want to do the radius, if you want to call it, of the hexagon. So we did 60, so that will be a 30 radius. And then we want to do times 10, the angle that will be the sides of our hexagon. So I've done a little bit of trial and error for this. I quite like 75 degrees as my angle. So that gives me a height of 111 mil. So put that in. Next, we need to create a point on that plane. Uh, because we did it on the 000, zero, zero point, we can just simply do this. There's probably better ways to do it, but that will do for now. Next, we want to do a loft, clicking that face and that point, create a new body. Now we have our solid pyramid. Next step is we want to shell this. So click on the bottom face. And here's our next measurement. So for me, I have gone with 0.6, uh, which my 3D printer can do as one layer. So it makes it quite, um, not one layer, one wall. It makes it really thin and gives it a really nice sound. You can change this to whatever you want, but I think 0.6 is a good measurement. So that's given us essentially one ring of the fidget. And if you're not exactly sure what I mean by that, if we do a sectional analysis on the, uh, what plane do we want that on? Let's just hide that on that plane. Show our bodies again. Go up and look at it from a top view. There's one of our rings. Let's turn that off and just show our shape. Next, what we want to do is create the rest of the rings. So the way that I do that is go pattern, rectangular pattern, select that body as our object. Axis is going to be the Z axis. Pull it down just to give us an idea of what we're doing. And here is where we decide on the number of rings you want. So for this size, um, I've worked out around 21 is a good number. And to calculate the distance, what I do is five times the number, so 21 minus five.
and what that does is gives you around two to three mil spacings between each of these rings. Um, again, you could probably be a lot more um, accurate and figure out exactly what spacing you want. Um, but I, I found this is a good, good distance. And as you can see from that sectional analysis, we, we've got our shape. And now we just need to actually cut it and get rid of all this extra. So to do that, again, we'll just hide our bodies for now and create a new sketch. This time we'll be on this axis, or this plane. Turn back on our bodies. We want to project just the top one. Okay. And this part is where you decide how thick you want your fidget toy to be. So I go 14 mil overall. So here I need to do seven up. And then from this corner as well, now we could do that a lot better. Sorry, let's do it with a rectangle. So we want to lock this as seven. That can be whatever. Like that. And then we want to coincidence of that line and that point. And there we go. Finish our sketch. So you can see we've got that profile through the middle now. Again, let's just quickly hide the bodies, make selecting easy, click that profile. We want to do symmetrical through all and intersect. Turn on our bodies so you can see what we're doing. Again, select our body. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. That will do. That gives us what we want. There we go. Cool. There you go. That's one half of our fidget toy. Now, before we finish it off, you can see in here we've got this one piece. Um, so it looks like when I did the pattern calculations, I went one too many. So we'll come back here, double click on that. I'll change this to 20, just going to change that. This would be a lot better if I use parameters, but it's okay, this will do for now. Why is that still there? Should not be there. Ah, it doesn't matter. So even though that little point's in the middle there, that's not going to matter because we're going to hide that anyway. So the next thing we need to do is I like the fidget toys with the, the pole in the middle, the little handle. So what we'll do for that is create a sketch on that face. We'll project that ring. Click OK, finish that sketch, jump to the bottom, you can do the same, so new sketch on that face, project that, OK, finish, and now we want to fill that in, and we'll just use the loft for that, so select that face, that profile name, that profile. We want to join. There we go. So now we've got that. And just to make sure everything is looking as we want, let's do another sectional analysis on that face. Flip it around. And that there you go. And that's why we do the sectional analysis because sometimes we don't click the right thing to turn that one back on. So we just need to adjust this loft. I'll fix that error as well later. Uh, ah, okay. I clicked the wrong one. So back on this sketch. 
jump to the bottom again, come the long way around. Uh, we want to project this one. And then on that loft. Finish sketch. That loft. Actually, that one. So that one. Yeah, and sometimes that can get really annoying, so it's easier just to start again. Perfect. There we go. And you can see we've got our spacings between our fins. If you look closely enough, you can see a vertical line going down. It won't just fall through, and that's going to stop them coming apart. And now for the cool part that finishes it off, we want to do a mirror of all of those objects, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. That's why, because I didn't click objects. All of those objects, mirror plane, underneath, and just any of the flat faces. Join, okay. There we go. That's our fidget toy. So, Last thing to do is to build that pole, if that's what you want. Uh, and that, there's a fair few ways you could do it, depending on the style, you could just do this and have a hexagon style with it. Um, I don't really like that. I think it's a bit, a bit too rough. Um, what I choose to do is create a sketch on top of here. I do a circle in the middle just pick a distance that I like, no, four, finish, then I'll extrude that one to 50, I think it's a good length, and then clean it up a little bit, so I'll probably put a fillet on here, five, maybe a fillet on top, of one, um, you know while we're here, let's just do a bit of pattern on this pole as well, a bit of knurling, makes it a little bit easier to grip. So we want to select the top face, and because we're on the zero Z axis, we can do that. Uh, the circle is four, so let's also go four. And we want to pull it down, 50. And we want triangle, internal. This is already small, so let's make it um, quite small knurling. Um, that looks all correct. We'll do a circular pattern on that feature around that axis. Six. Looks pretty good. And to finish it off, mirror it, we do it the other way. That will give us our knurling. So features, that and that, and select a mirror, we can just, um, yeah, we can just use that plane, that will do. Done. You can adjust that, make it smoother, if you so wish, but otherwise, that is our fidget toy. Hope you enjoyed. Um, you can take this approach and do it any shape. So like I sort of showed at the front of the video, I just finished off doing a star, uh, the hexagon, which is what we just um, made together. Um, you do circles, really any shape. And you don't have to worry about scaling because nothing's actually scaling. You're just grabbing it as it comes down. Cool. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.